Good afternoon, Mrs. Salina. I am Nurse Maria and I am here to perform New Pope's Maneuver with you. In this procedure, I'll be performing a series of maneuvers to help us determine the position of your baby inside your uterus, and with that, we will know where to locate the fetal heartbeat. Will that be okay with you? Okay, but before we do that, may I ask you to avoid first so that you'll be comfortable during the procedure. Before we proceed, we need to prepare the materials for the procedure. So first, we need to have a Doppler. So this is used to take the fetal heart tone. And with this, we need to have a water-based lubricant. So if you don't have this, we can use the stethoscope. So uh, the fetal heart tone is audible at about 20 weeks or 5 lunar months. And then we need a tissue paper so that uh, we will use this to wipe off the lubricant after the examination. Next to that is to position the patient. So we will have the patient that in dorsal recumbent. So in this position, the abdominal muscles will be more relaxed and will, will be easier for us to do palpation in the abdomen. Then we provide privacy by draping the patient and we will only expose the part that is needed for the examination. Maneuver 1, Fundal Grip. Keep the palms warm. Faces the patient and start palpating the fundus. Describes what the fetal part that is palpated in the fundus. Maneuver 2. Umbilical grip. While facing the patient, applies deep palpation. Performs by placing the right hand on one side of the abdomen while the left hand explores the uterus. Repeats step B on the opposite side using the opposite hand. Describes the contour which lead to conclude the location. Identifies the side where the fetal back is located. Maneuver 3. Pollux grip. Uses thumb and finger to grasp the lower abdomen area above symphysis pubis. Validates the findings with Maneuver 1. Maneuver 4. Pelvic Grip. Faces the patient's feet. Determines whether fetal head is engaged, floating, extended, or flexed.
So based on our examination, the fetal back is located on the right lower quadrant. So we will use our Doppler to locate the fetal heart tone and we will put our water-based lubricant first, okay? If we don't have a Doppler, we can make use of the stethoscope. So the fetal heart tone is audible after the fifth lunar month or your 20 weeks of gestation. So we have to count for one full minute and a normal fetal heart tone is between 120 to 160 beats per minute. So we will know if it's the fetal heart tone because while taking the fetal heart tone, we compare with the pulse rate of the mother. So the pulse rate of the mother is slower compared to the fetal heart tone. With this, you will know that you are taking the fetal heart tone.